Hi, this is Vasant Kumar. Welcome to my class. In this class, we will discuss about the combination of resistors. Resistors are connected in two ways. One is series combination. Second one is parallel combination. Let us have the series circuit. In this circuit, there are two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in series. And we have supplied V volts in this circuit. At one end that is positive end we are having V volts. At negative end of the battery it is having 0 volts. At R1 we are having the voltage V1 and at R2 we are having the voltage V2. According to the Ohm's law V1 is equal to I1 R1. Here the current remains constant at both the resistors but voltage is splitting up. So at R1 we are having the voltage V1. So based on that we are calculating the V1 is equal to I R1. At V2 that means uh, at R2 we are having the voltage V2 according to the Ohm's law V2 is equal to I R2. When we had both the values of V1 and V2 to get the total resultant voltage, we will get like this. V is equal to V1 plus V2. We are going to apply the values of V, V1 and V2 in this equation. We get directly IRS is equal to IR1 plus IR2. Both the sides I will be cancelled. Then finally we will get the equation RS is equal to R1 plus R2. This is the series combination. Let us calculate one uh, problem. R1 is having 2 ohm and R2 is having 3 ohms. For this problem, since it is in series combination, we are getting the formula as Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. We are putting the values of R1 and R2 in this equation. Finally, we get the total resistance is equal to 5 ohm the total resistance is always greater greater than the individual resistances in parallel circuit r1 and r2 are connected in parallel here the current is going to split into i1 and i2 through r1 and r2 resistors respectively the total current i is equal to i1 plus i2 in the circuit Potential difference, potential difference remains constant. We apply the values of I, I1 and I2 in the equation I is equal to I1 plus I2. Since we know I is equal to V by R, finally we get the equation as V by Rp in place of I is equal to V by R1 in place of I1 plus V by R2 in place of I2. Then both the sides V will be cancelled. Here V remains constant, that's why we are not adding any V1, V2 like this. So we get the equation as 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. For the three resistors, we get the equation as 1 by Rp is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Let us see the difference between series and parallel combination. In series combination, current is same but in parallel combination current splits in series combination potential difference splits but in parallel combination potential difference is same the equation for the series combination rs is equal to r1 plus r2 but for the parallel combination 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 in series combination the resultant resistance is greater than the maximum resistance of the individual resistors. But in parallel combination, the resultant resistance is lesser than the least resistance of the individual resistors. That's why in series combination, the total resistance is more. In parallel combination, the total resistance is very less. So in series combination, more resistance is there, so current cannot flow easily. In parallel combination, the resistance is very less, so current can flow very easily.
let us have one question for you why do the bulbs glow brightly in a parallel combination than in series you have to answer for this question let us see one formula and also a problem what is the equivalent resistance of r1 and r2 when they are having the 2 ohms and 3 ohms respectively here we get the equivalent resistance as 1.2 ohm which is very less when compared to the individual resistances of r1 and r r2 thank you for watching this video so you subscribe my channel to get the latest updates and other educational videos regarding science